Hello, welcome to this tutorial on how to skew your fonts automatically depending on your user setting. In this session, you will learn how to import a custom font such as Certify and use it and make it skewable depending on the user settings. As this will help user who need a larger text for better readability, it also accommodates those who can read smaller text, allowing more information to appear on the screens and provide a better user experience. Let's get started by creating a brand new project. Select apps and give your project a name. And save it at the locations that you want. So the first thing is we want to download a custom font. So where can you download it? A good place to download custom font is at Google Font. So you can choose any fonts that you like for this project. For me, I will use back the same one called Certified. Then after that, select the fonts types that you want. For Certified, there is only regular 400, but for other fonts, there might be more. So you select all of them and click on Download All. Once downloaded, unzip the project, double click and open. So now what we want is we want to drag these .ttf files into our project. So for me, I will create a group called fonts just to keep everything neat. And then I will drag this font inside. Remember to select add to target. And so now the fonts is over here. The question is how can we use it? To use it, let's select our project, info, and let's click on this and search fonts provided by application. So now we need to provide the files of the font. So for here, it will be certified regular.tft because we created we added something new, this info.p list will be available over here. It will be the same as this one, so there's no difference depending on how you want to add it. So let's go to here and click on, double click on this empty space and paste the file name with the .tft. So one added, you will see that for this one, it will be updated too. So now we have imported custom font. How can we skew it? and make it dynamic so that it will skew accordingly to the setting that the user set. So Swift UI make it very easy. To do that, you just need to select font dot custom. So you can see that there are three types, size, fixed size, and relative to. So we can use size. So when you use size, it will skew accordingly to the, the user settings. So for the name, it will be the file name, which is this certify regular. I will just copy without the extension and paste it over here and remove the .ttf. For the size, you can put any size you want, for example, 32. So now once it's loaded, you can click on this and then select dynamic type and you can skew it now so depending on how what the user set it will show accordingly so some of you might one shot want to see like everything so that you can design your app accordingly you can click on variance then click on dynamic type variance let's hide this so in this way you can just look at all the design you can see that this image also skew accordingly because of this image skew dot large. So some of you doesn't want to make it skewable. You can instead of use size, you use fixed size. And now you see 
no matter what the dynamic type is, the size will always be the same for the font type. Let's change back to the skewable kinds so that the user experience will be much better for those that want a larger or a smaller text. So let's try to make it more cleaner. So to make it more cleaner, I will create a new folder called extensions. I will create a new files, a new Swift file. And I will name it custom font. So I will import Swift UI. Then I will create an extension of font static function. So I will call it certify so that we can use this font directly without uh, using the string for the custom font. Then we will click return. So what we are returning is font dot custom. So this one will be similar to this. The size will be the size that we key in. So now instead of using dot custom, you can use dot certify and give the font. So now you know how to skill and make it dynamic for your font. In the next few videos that I will be creating, I will teach you how to change the layout when the dynamic type changes. So for example, a XXL layout or a large layout will be different from this small and the regular layout that we have. So do remember to like and subscribe my channel. And this video will be releasing soon.